never yeah. stop worshiping yeah, yeah, me yeah, yeah, and worship. think no, about me all the time me. and do not let your thoughts ever wander to me. It always makes me think why any god would want so much attention yeah. all of the time no, from because, us. because Hello guys, I'm a Gabar. We're here in Birmingham city center. Great day. Wow, it's, it's kind of, it's all right, it's not raining, which is good. Behind us here is an Islam tent that, that's really kind of interesting. me. I can see it says Islam against extremism, Islam against racism. Um, so it seems like a very interesting place. I don't know what these guys are doing. They're probably trying to sp spread up a positive message, I guess. So I'm going to go over and have a word with them, if they will let me, of course. So, follow me. It's in the name, really. I act. <laughs> Going on script. You can take them as well, yes, they're free. Go ahead. Thank you so much. You're welcome. If you want a bag, let me get you a bag. I haven't done that. They teach uh, the people that, you know, uh, that Jesus died for our sins, so whoever believes in him and has everlasting life. These are things that contradict a person's natural inclination. Mm. A, a child is born with the natural inclination to believe in the Creator. Yeah. But it's society that causes him to become either a Christian or a Jew or an atheist. So society kind of forms the person. Yeah, and fam down through, through families all and of stuff these like that. Family, all society, that community, all of these things. And, and, and so if, what, I'm, what I'm trying to say is a child, if, you, if that child were to be left alone, that child will believe in a creator naturally. Mm. And he will want to worship he want to worship this creator he yeah. may direct his worship to other than the creator he might worship trees or the sea or the sky or the planets or the sun or the moon other things but is but that allowed in islam islamically it's not allowed no because well, that's that that's uh worshiping yeah that, 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 that's 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 uh, polytheism right okay so uh, uh, islam is a monotheistic religion and um so i was just thought i'd touch on that yeah. as to you know because a lot of people that do you know become agnostic or atheist mm. is as a result of uh christianity yeah. i'm sorry to say no, and, no, and the I, reason I, being I, I can see what you're saying yeah the reason sure. being is that because as muslim we do believe in the prophets and messengers that were sent the yeah. likes of abraham yeah, noah moses jesus, muhammad, jesus kind of stuff, muhammad. Yeah. Peace i was all. surprised actually to, to to realize that they were actually in yeah. the you know in the quran yeah. um, no 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 that, that's something that we believe in yeah. meaning that if we were alive at the time of noah mm. we would we should be following the guidance and teachings of noah yeah if we were alive at the time of moses we mm. should be following the guidance and teachings of moses if we were alive at the time of jesus peace be upon him we should be following the guidance and teachings of jesus yeah. however the current Bible that we have today, the New Testament, the Old Testament, the yeah. King James Version of the Bible, the Revised Standard, yeah. we don't now say that that was the scripture that was given to Jesus. We right. don't say that yeah. because we know that Jesus had a scripture. Yeah. Is it the Bible? Yeah. It's not the Bible. the Bible. The Bible is a collection of writings from people, from that, we people, people, people yeah. that we don't even know. We yeah. don't even know whether they, yeah. they were trustworthy people, mm. whether they were reliable or not, whether they even lived at the time of Jesus or not. Yeah. Right? So is it fair to say that the Quran it has taken parts of these different books like the Torah and the Bible and kind of looked at it and went, right, okay, sort of tried to clean them up a little bit and no, tried no, to no. find no, that's a, that's, the, the, the core yeah, kind of... That's a misconception okay. and that's a conclusion that many people come to right. because, oh well, uh, the Quran says, uh, it speaks about the, uh, the birth of Jesus, so therefore it must have been plagiarized from the Bible. Mm. We don't believe that. Okay. We believe that these prophets and messengers were receiving revelation from the Creator, right? right? right. So okay. Muhammad, peace be upon him, whenever he spoke about Jesus, whenever he spoke about the Creator, whenever he spoke about whenever you spoke about the religion he never spoke from his own opinion mm -hmm. rather his, it was revelation being revealed to him okay yeah it yeah. was never about opinion yeah and so so that is why we shouldn't come to our own conclusions as to how to please the Creator yeah. how is it that I should worship the Creator how do I follow you know what, what is it that's going to please him and you'll find that you'll find that many Christians for example 
they, you know, they'll go to church, you know, they, they'll sing for hours on end. Mm. What is that? What Jesus commanded them with? Mm. Is this what Jesus legislated them with? Is this what is even taught in the Bible? Yeah, no. 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 So a lot yeah. of it mm. is innovated practices yes. yeah. that so, have been so, added. So they've been added as the years yeah. go on, the yeah, years yeah. go on to and suit I, the society yeah. and the sort of change. So there's a the, yeah, yeah. big difference between the teachings of Jesus mm peace be upon him yeah. and the teachings of the church yeah it's completely different yeah you know you'll find that Jesus would wish would worship God alone even the greatest commandment when I speak to many Christians you know what is the greatest commandment many of them they don't know it so so Jesus he mentioned hero Israel the Lord our God is one Lord yeah. right yeah. and you you find that reiterated throughout the Bible yeah. where, where you know it's for example it mentions uh, in Genesis and Deuteronomy and other places uh, for example, um, thou shalt have no other gods besides me. You see, I've always thought that that, because that's the same in the Quran, really, and I've always thought yeah. that quite a selfish thing to any god to yeah. say, yeah. Mm. Worship me yeah. and only me. Never yeah. stop worshiping yeah, yeah, me yeah, yeah. and think no, about no. me all the time and do not let your thoughts ever wander to me. It always makes me think why any god would want so much attention yeah. all of the time no, from because us. because That's the one we I believe can in a just God yeah. and we don't agree with oppression. There's three types of oppression. There is oppression when one oppresses himself by way of intoxicants, by way of, you know, you know, a person prevents himself from going to sleep. These are things that you're oppressing your, your, yourself, the rights of your body. These are rights that your body has, right? And then there's oppression directed at other people, you know, littering outside your neighbor's house, not checking on your neighbor, not, you know, if they're going hungry, you're not there to, to you know, you're eating while they're going hungry. So other people have rights upon you, your children, your parents. And there's, then there's another type of oppression which is directed to the Creator, the mighty and majestic. Yeah, yeah. Remember, every blessing that you and I have, and every blessing that we have is from Him. Um, or imagine, for example, uh, let's say they're, they're, you know there's a big obstacle about to, this building's about to collapse up on you, mm. and I push you out the way and I save your life. Mm. Would you be grateful to me? I would be grateful to you yeah. as a person, not because of your religious belief or not because but of any creator, I, no, but I would know yeah. that either your religion would probably be a big part of why you wanted to do good, yeah. but I believe an atheist and, uh, but would, be, would be great. You know, be, would also yeah. have it in his mind to do that as well. But yeah. there are there are religious people who would be too yeah. cowardly to yeah. do that. There are atheists who would be too cowardly to do that. So I think it's luck depending on whoever yeah, you get there the at the point time, is, you know. you're missing the point the yeah. point is you should naturally be grateful to me yes. you should show me some sort of yes. gratitude isn't yes. it because right? i can physically see you yes. do that yeah. or whether i give you a gift that you're in need you're someone who's in need yeah. and i gave and i provided for you that which you needed at that moment in time you would be grateful naturally yeah. right yeah, 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 yeah but we believe ultimate gratitude goes back to him okay because without him, I wouldn't exist. You wouldn't even have your life, you wouldn't have your eyes, you wouldn't have your limbs, you wouldn't have your family, you wouldn't have food or water, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so that's why we should be showing gratitude to him. Uh, just like we show gratitude to our parents for taking care of us our, all our, of our lives.